The United States government has said it is going to use upcoming by-elections in Zimbabwe as a litmus test for the level of democracy in the country. Zimbabwe is set to hold by-elections on 26 March to fill the vacant seats in the National Assembly and local government following the mass recall of MDC Alliance MPs and councillors by the smaller opposition MDCT. Other seats became vacant because of death. The US Embassy in Harare said it will tweet several examples of what our government sees as the criteria for a free and fair election. March by elections and the 2023 harmonized elections give the government of Zimbabwe a chance to show that number Zimbabwe's matter, especially if it honors its commitment to level the playing field by undertaking numbers in electoral reform. This week at Yusembasura will tweet several examples of what our government sees as the criteria for a free and fair election. Stated in the Zimbabwe Democracy and Economic Recovery Act ZDERA, and also in Zimbabwe's own constitution, these values have remained constant. These ZDERA sanctions were imposed on Zimbabwe in 2001 by the US. They were meant to influence a change in the behavior of the ZANU-PF regime, particularly in the area of democracy, human rights and the rule of law. Zimbabwe is again set to hold its harmonized general election scheduled in 2023.